is Zamber. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we're back with more Miraculous. We are watching season five, episode 14, Derision. Um, I'm interested. I've been really loving these last few episodes. Um, I should say I'm basically watching these episodes as they come out on Disney Channel. So any delays, things like that are because of that. I, I have no more Miraculous to be able to get ahead on. I'm I am with it now. I am in the bunkers with you all. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. But keep in mind, if you guys want to see my full reactions to Miraculous Ladybug or any other thing that I watch on my channel, you can check it out over on my Patreon page. Link down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. I was just calling to tell you how excited I am that we're meeting at the swimming pool later. Oh and wake you up, just in case we're still sleeping. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited too. That's so cute. Wait, you didn't say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Everything okay, Marinette? Yeah, I'm just feeling a little lightheaded, Tiki. Do you have PTSD? You've been to the swimming pool before. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong with me today. Let me take care of it. Go to the swimming pool and meet your Adrian. Meet your Adrian, mother! Whoa, 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 whoa. That is way too forward. Good morning. Let's do it, please. Oh. Yes. Yes. Ah! Oh my god, girl! What is this anxiety and why did they color it this way to make you look like you have B.O.? Do you smell it? That smell. Go ahead, I'll meet you there. Oh gosh, she's like actually having anxiety attacks right now. Okay, Marinette, are. what's going on with you? I don't know. I feel strange. What is wrong, baby girl? Over oh. here. <laughs> oh gosh, it is Kim. What did Kim do to you at the swimming pool? Marinette, what's wrong? Leave me alone! You need to be by myself and stop pretending to be so nice to me! <laughs> Whoa, Adrian, that must have been some prank you pulled to make Marinette freak out like that. What did you do to her? It's not funny, Kim. Can't you see Marinette's not okay? Yeah. Come on, she always reacts like that when someone pranks her. What on earth are you talking about? Kim. Let me explain. No. You'll see. It's hilarious. It was last year when Marinette and I were in the eighth grade. What's wrong with me? Oh, I'm destroying everything I've ever wanted. What did they do to you? Oh, honey. Hey, I am Monarch. <laughs> Marinette! Why have you been acclimatized so much? I have to figure out why I get like this every time I get close to Adrian. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall apart. Three, two, one. This is the path. Okay. <laughs> oh no! What? You liked Kim? Who do you hate? Chloe? Chloe. Okay. Oh my god. Chloe did all of this to you? Classes started 10 minutes ago, yet you're still roaming the hallway. Oh, this is the eighth time this week. Good thing an anonymous student warns me every time you're about to break the rules. I wonder who that mysterious Chloe can be. Ah, oh, the mysterious Chloe can be. What? You know. <laughs> what a jerk. What's with the even more depressing than usual face, Dupin Chang? Something bugging oh you? Oh my gosh, Chloe. <laughs> you're a monster. I mean, I knew that. Wow, Chloe, you really put a stain on her yeah. character. <laughs> oh. Shush! If I'm not the one who said it, it's not funny. Oh, okay. And to think the day's just getting started. Oh my gosh, Chloe, do you have nothing better to do? Is there something you want to tell me other than... <laughs> <laughs> Chloe was a monster before. Oh my gosh. Oh, they were my favorite pair. You can have my swimming trunks if you'd like. <laughs> Things, but swimming trunks oh. are for swimming pools. It'd be weird to be wearing them in the schoolyard. Out of the way, you parasites! I warned you, no talking to the bigger girl. Hmm? Parasite means you too, goldfish brains. Oh, thanks, that's nice. <laughs> Kim, honey. 
Please, I need you to think sometimes, okay? Uh, I warned you, bourgeois. You leave Marinette alone. Hey, it's so good to see you. Marinette, I promised your mom I'd keep an eye on you, but I can't be around all the time. Aww. And next year, I won't even be here anymore. You've got to learn to stand up to Chloe. <laughs> Hopefully next year, we won't be in the same class again. Uh-oh. Oh, girl. <laughs> Don't tell me you're crushing on this dang bat. Seriously. Not? He's nice, funny, and kind of cute. Girl! I think you might be confusing kindness with foolery, Marinette. You're agreed, girl. Agreed. Be Thank careful, goodness you- Oh, <laughs> Sabrina's there. Never mind. This is the worst idea. We need an Alia in our lives way sooner. So, I heard Nana asked you to go with her to the swimming pool. Yeah, we're going swimming together. Because I've got a great idea for a super funny mm. practical joke. Mm. You sure she'll like it? She'll love it. <laughs> awesome. So You're insane. just too funny, Chloe. You know me, an absolute scream. Oh, gosh, Chloe. Uh, I'm so glad we have put her in her place and that she's no longer the holder of any miraculous. She doesn't deserve it. We're just going to the swimming pool. They don't need to have a plan or go over my envy lobe. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I laugh, but that's why she does that now with Adrian. Oh, baby. I just want to hug Marinette. I feel bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a time. You know, Kim, I think you're really funny and nice and sweet too. And I... I think I'd like us to be more than friends. You do? Oh, Marinette, when you're around... <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> It's just like a little, little golden retriever. Oh. Chloe, you tried. Spiders are hilarious. Oh. Oh, and they recorded the whole thing. This is the worst. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Oh. Wow, great kick. So, that was hilarious, right? I'm cracking up. Mm. <laughs> you go away, you should be ashamed of yourself. Come on, it was just a practical joke. She didn't really even see what happened, so I like that she's just here. I appreciate the big sister energy though. I will never ever fall in love again. Well, that's a lie. You have fallen in love a lot. I'll never tell another boy that I love him before I know everything about him. Oh. Whether he's kind or not, thoughtful, what he does outside of school, and with who, I'll know everything. His birthday, all his first names, his schedule, his favorite things. And above all, I'll make sure that he is not friends with Chloe. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why did you pick Adrian then? Suckling, you're hereby suspended for two weeks. But that means until the end of the year. What about class council? What about oh, the prom? Gosh. Good riddance. Ugh. Wow. Sabrina, wait. You are such a good friend to her. Remember, Marinette, you've got to know when to step in. That's the only way you can change things in life. Oh, you're a good uh, friend. Uh, wow. When you like a girl, you get on one knee, compliment her, and give her jewelry. Except that time it wasn't for real. It was just a practical joke. <laughs> oh, Chloe's the prettiest girl in the world and the funniest, too. Your girlfriend's right here. How could you say that in front of me? Yeah. Your behavior is cruel and unacceptable. Come on, loosen up, you guys. It's like you can't even speak your mind these days. That doesn't give you permission to hurt other people. Whatever. I'm the way I am, and I'm fine that way. It's not my fault you guys have no sense of humor. Kim? What the hell? What? What is this coming out of nowhere? As an ardent defender of freedom of oppression, it is my duty to help him. I'm sorry, is Kim and Gabriel aggress like Andrew Tate ballers? What is happening right now? Have you no sympathy for others? <laughs> like, what the hell? At least you get my sense of humor. Yeah. 
Um, I'm so disappointed in hey, him. I know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I know what's wrong with me. So cool, we so all you wet blankets ready to learn to have oh. fun? Yeah. Where's your sense of humor? Stay here. I'm going to get you. Puppies want to running away hand in hand and don't shake like a leaf. Cheeky, <laughs> on. That's funny. This episode feels like it's been going for a hot minute. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Can't you pick up some of your own size? You have no shame at all? Yeah, seriously. Uh, Kenamar, calm down. We just need to destroy the Akumatai's object and then I hurt them. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, Adrian. <laughs> you know, would understand what he did was rude. But no, he's just like got defensive. He was like, it was funny. And Chloe's so hot. Like, give us the worst. This is a magical charm. Always keep it with you. May it help you avoid making the same mistakes again. I'm sorry. Aww. I let my emotions get the better of me too. Don't worry. It can happen to anyone. That's why there's two of us. That way one of us is always there to help the other. True, true. Found it. I can't remember anything. I hope I didn't do too many awful things when I was a super villain. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. The worst thing is that you do awful things even when you're not a comatized Kim. Again with that yeah. story. It was just a joke. Who liked you and you broke her heart? But I have no idea. Just because you have no idea is no excuse. The pain is still real. Uh, I like your girlfriend. She should come around more. I'm just a fool who doesn't think about the consequences of what I say or do. But I'm gonna change. I'm sorry I hurt you, Marinette. Can you please forgive me? Apology accepted, Kim. There, that's the boy I fell in love with. Girl, I wouldn't touch him. He's kind of a red flag now. I know you never mean to hurt me, but somehow I'm still scared. And I'm afraid I'll be scared for a long time to come. I'm scared too. This is all new to me as well. I won't always know how to react. I'm scared of doing something wrong. Scared of hurting you. Scared of someone else hurting you. Oh. Scared of losing you. Oh. Maybe it will become less and less scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've got time. Oh my god, he's so patient with her. Okay, hi. I know about everything you did to Marinette last year, Chloe. Uh-oh. You're going to go and apologize to her and prove to everyone that you can change. I'm sure she'll forgive you. Oh. Why would I listen to you? You're the one who's getting things wrong with your baker, girl. You are prince. You belong with me, the oh my princess. God. Chloe. To make fun of all the losers who are only good enough to be used as doormats. Oh, Sabrina. Sabrina, come on, girl. I supported you. I give you multiple chances to become a better person. Everyone reached out to you, including Ladybug and Cat Noir, when they gave you the miraculous of the again. But all you ever think about is yourself. Uh. We will never be friends again, Chloe. You and I are done. Oh! Traitor. Well, okay then. <laughs> First off, you know. Ugh, that Chloe now has motivation to hate Marinette more, which is not great. 
I'm not saying what Adrian did was bad. I actually, I loved what Adrian did. Like, I need to state that clearly. I think what he did is great because I think he knows, in which I think we all do, that he is the only one that can truly get through to Chloe. He is the only person that Chloe feels like can stand at her level besides Lila. And Lila's not going to help us at all. So just throw that out. <laughs> but I actually really appreciate it. He did not have to go and like talk to Chloe, say that to Chloe. I actually really appreciate that he went and confronted her. And he's like, I know what you did. And that is horrible. Like, you need to go apologize to her. Like, that's bad. And of course, she's not going to. So like, whatever. Um, I am nervous, though, because she is going to probably start harassing Marinette even worse, which sucks. I don't know. I, I'm not at a crossroad after seeing this episode. In a way, I'm glad that we didn't redeem Chloe because now we have this character who wants Adrian and Marinette to fail along with Lila. But Chloe has more control over that, I feel. Where she can do horrible things and not have to play this pretty two-faced act that Lila does. So in a way, I'm glad Chloe was not redeemed so we have her to mess around with this relationship. But at the same time, I also wish she could have been redeemed because her doing a lot of these awful things and as we slowly were seeing her kind of be, you know, I don't want to say thoughtful, but she was starting to have a redemption and then we just kind of squashed it. It just didn't go anywhere. Uh, and then we got Zoe and then, you know, Chloe just showed no signs of ever caring or, you know, showing that progress. It was just lost. She just became exactly who she was in season one, which is sad. I am a little upset that that just disappeared. Um, do I like Zoe? Yes, I actually really enjoy Zoe. So in another life, which <coughs> the miraculous movies, I hope that Chloe can get redeemed. I think it'd be interesting to see her character kind of go through that and actually be redeemable. Where in this series, um, she just isn't redeemable. After what she did to Zoe especially and just how cruel she is to her, Zoe just, it's not there. There is no more redemption for Chloe. It is completely written out. She is this character that we will just forever hate. And at this point, now that I, especially after this episode, recognize that she will never be redeemed, so be it then. If that's the way they want to write her, then I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah. Oh, my heart though. I feel so bad for Marinette. Like, yes. Okay. Was it like a little extra the way they did this and like, they really were just like, oh, terrible things, horrible things just happened to Marinette. These like extreme things that I hope like does not happen to anybody. I hope no one gets bullied that badly. I know like, yes, it's TV, so it's dramatized. I think a lot, a lot more of the times people are just kind of getting cyber bullied now, which is also bad. But this harassment though in person is horrid. But I, I don't know. I feel really bad. Like, Marinette didn't deserve that. And Kim, like, not understanding how he hurt her is so sad. Like, especially after she was like, I would like to be, like, you know, more than friends. I know Kim's kind of, like, a lovable idiot. But for him not to understand that is heartbreaking. And then for him to, like, you know, still go on and say those things, those nice things before, like, pranking her. Like, he clearly does somewhat understand. And, like, Chloe told him, like, you know, if a girl likes you, do this. So he, like, understood. And then she, like, ran away from him. And it's like, I'm pretty sure anybody with a single brain cell would be able to understand if girl ran away from you basically crying and her friend told you to, like, bump off. I think you would recognize you did something bad and should feel bad. Oh, and oh my God. The like thing would be like, oh, Chloe's so like the prettiest girl. But well, he said it in front of his girlfriend. I'll never remember her name. We're just going to call her mermaid girl. But he said that right in front of her. Like, dude, what? 
And then she was like, ha, at the end, like everything's better now. Ha ha, there's the lovable guy I fell for. And it's like, girl, your man is a red flag. Oh my goodness. Man has like zero empathy. Do you really want to spend your life like cleaning up after him like that? When he like gets into a fight with somebody and he's like, oh, I didn't understand saying that would like make you upset. Like, I didn't understand that you couldn't take a joke like that. Like, girl, you don't want that. That is a red flag, girl. Get out of that relationship. Like, I thought they were cute, but now I'm just concerned for Mermaid Girl. Like, yo, Kim is not a good person. Kim's an asshole. I know he's a he's technically still a child and he's still learning technically. But I am just like flabbergasted. Like so rude. Like, bro. Oh, I get it. He's a lovable idiot. So he just doesn't understand. But that's bad. I, dang, I don't know if that pushes him up past Nino for me. I don't know. I did kind of forgive Nino for starting the resistance now. So maybe Kim is number one, like my disliked character that's not a villain. I think it might be Kim now. I, I'm i so unhappy. Oh, that's such a bummer that they kind of did that to his character. I obviously he's the only one stupid enough to fall for one of Chloe's plans. But I'm just so disappointed in him. I liked his character. Like he kind of was like, friends with Chloe at the start, but it seemed like he was understanding that like Chloe is mean and people don't like Chloe. So the fact that he's just like, oh no, yeah, like I still think Chloe's great. It's just like, you know, my friends aren't hanging out with Chloe anymore and Chloe's not hanging out with me. So like, it's not because I hate her. I just, just, that, just that. And like the fact, okay, the fact that he even said it still after he like tried to ask Chloe out too. Like he, I don't know, girl. I think he's problematic. I would not be with him. Oh, I hate it. Um, but moving on, cause I could just keep talking about my dislike of Kim right now. Adrian was so sweet. My heart is breaking for Adrian and yet it's like fixing itself in the same episode. He is such a good baby boy. He is so sweet. Like he is being so kind to Marinette and so understanding and just being absolutely the most perfect little boyfriend. Like, oh, he's just adorable. I just want to pinch his little cheeks. He's doing so great. He's so understanding. Like, and just him being so vulnerable with her and being like, you know, I'm still learning too. It's so precious. And then he's like, take your time, Marina. It's cool. Like, we're, we can get through this together. And the fact that he, like, got so mad when he learned what Kim did to her and just how, like, obviously hurt and traumatized she is. I love, I love a protective boyfriend. Like, oh, it was so cute. Granted, Cat Noir is becoming unhinged this season. Like, badly unhinged. And I almost wonder just a tiny bit if Cat Noir's unhingedness is now propelled further by the fact that he broke Marinette's heart as well. So the fact that he broke Marinette's heart and now learning someone else did too. I wonder if he's kind of taking some of that hurt out on Kim. Um... I, I'm doubtful the writers probably thought that far, but I am curious if maybe some of his hurt and pain was, you know, propelled forward because he hurt Marinette. Maybe, maybe. But I think it's just because he cares about Marinette and learning that she had that pain and that Chloe was the one that caused it made him so upset. So I, it's cute, but oh my gosh, he needs to stop threatening to cataclysm people. Because now that he's like, oh, well, Monarch is still alive. So apparently cataclysming them won't kill them. So I'ma just start cataclysming people left and right when I get upset. And it's like, mm, we, don't, we don't know what it does. We know his arm is bad, but it hasn't taken him yet. But I think it's spreading like, ooh, 
<laughs> like Adrian, let's not use that power so much on other living people. <laughs> like stop threatening. It's been a lot. I'm worried about him. He's getting kind of unhinged. But yeah, he's like 10 out of 10, such a good little boyfriend and I love him. Oh, and now that Luke is gone, like I don't have anyone else to root for. So I'm I'm team Adrian, Adrianetti. That's where I am. That's all I got. <laughs> As the only true ship in the harbor, that's what I must flee. <laughs> But yeah, this was a sad episode. It was nice to see Soclean and uh, learn more about her time and who she is exactly to Marinette and why Marinette likes her so much. And also seeing that it looks like she copied her hairstyle as well after she left, which I think is cute. I think it's to show that Marinette, you know, found this strength to stand up for herself and have that courage, which I think is a really good way for us as viewers to find out and kind of learn um, about the backstory of that hairstyle and why Marinette has it. Though the bun is cute. I actually really like her bun hairstyle. I kind of want it back. It's cute. I bet it'd be easier to animate too. <laughs> Just a suggestion for you, Zag. But overall, a good episode, sad episode. So sad. I feel bad for Marinette. I just want to like hold her. Like nobody deserves to be treated that way. And the fact that Kim did not understand just made it 10 times worse. So I'm glad she has Adrian. I'm glad she's working up the courage and that they're learning together. And just Adrian, oh my gosh, like his little declarations just make my heart flutter. Like they're so cute. So I'm very excited to continue watching because literally every time they interact now, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what is Adrian going to say? <laughs> it's adorable. So overall, I had a good time watching the episode. I hope you guys did as well. And yeah, um, Miraculous is, you know, basically at a stop or so. So um, I will be doing other content that is Miraculous themed while we wait for the episodes to start coming back around on that weekly schedule again. So we'll we'll get there we'll get going again so thank you guys so much for watching please remember if you like this video to like share subscribe all that fun jazz you can use that little pinky finger as well to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all later